Hey guys, how's it going? Mark, aka the Nerdy Punk, back with you again tonight for a new video. Um, tonight I have a quick video. Uh, it's going to be a little bit of a different one. Uh, it's hard to believe, but 2018 is almost over. Today is December 7th, 2018. And uh, as such, with the year coming to a close, holidays coming up, um, I'm, I'm getting ready to head out, head home next week. Uh, next, uh, actually, one week from yesterday is when I will be heading home. Um, and I may not have a whole lot of content coming over break, but I know I will have a few things coming in. And one of those things will be my year-end countdown videos. So this year I'm going to be doing a top 10 movies of 2018, uh, of which that came out this year. And I'm also going to do a top 15 albums. Last year I did a top 10 albums, but this year I feel like there's been so many good albums that I want to include that I had to extend it to a top 15. So stay tuned for those videos coming out towards the end of this month. And maybe even into early January. It all depends on like what movies I see in the next few weeks. And if there's something that I've been waiting to see that I feel like might have a place on the list, you know, I may wait till that comes out and so that I can see it. And also it's gonna depend on Wi-Fi. The Wi-Fi sucks back at home. It's not too great at my house up here either, but uh, <laughs> you know, uh, there there's a lot of things to keep in mind. This is going to be the first of my year-end countdown videos, and this is actually something that I can do right now, and that is my 2018 Spotify Wrapped. So if you guys don't know, Spotify, of course, a music app that uh, pretty much has almost every song you could ever think of on it, um, and every year they do this thing called Wrapped, where they show you kind of like your highlights from the year what you listen to the most, how many hours you listen to of music, um, your favorite albums of the year based on how many times you listen to them. It's kind of like a little algorithm that gets like collecting data throughout the year. And really, it's kind of interesting to see you know how much I listen to, because I listen to Spotify probably every day. Uh, music is a huge part of my life. I love music. I love rock and roll. I love punk rock. And I listen to it all the time. It helps me get through. It helps me study. helps me get through the day. You know, when I'm feeling down, listen to some music. So Spotify is a pretty big app that I use. And um, as such, I thought it would be interesting. I did one of these last year. I kind of enjoyed it. Uh, I didn't get that many views, but that's okay. <laughs> I'm not really concerned about views. I'm concerned about putting forth content that I enjoy. So uh, I figured I would do this again. I am not smart enough to figure out how to do like the picture in picture thing where I could like show you what my computer screen has like up there. I don't even know if I have the equipment for that. So um, needless to say, we're going to go a little bit old school with this. I have my laptop here and uh, that is the home screen uh, that you're going to want to go to. The, the website here, if you do have Spotify, the website is called Spotify Wrapped, W-R-A-P-P-E-D dot com. And that's what's going to take you to this home screen. And from this home screen, you're going to click on uh, Connect with Spotify. And it's going to pull up uh, a uh, little dialog box here that has you enter your Spotify account info. So I'm going to go ahead and do that real quick. There won't even be any edits in this video, I don't think. We're just going to go completely old school. Um, so if, if for some reason there's a delay, you guys are going to be waiting with me. <laughs> Alright, so I am logged in. And it is currently loading. So even if you don't have Spotify and you can't do this, uh, let me know down in the comments what your favorite uh, songs, albums were of this year, what you got into this year. Because I know if I know uh, music fans are always like encountering new music to them, what well, may not be new music that released, but it's a new artist that you've got into. Um, alrighty, firsts. So this is the first page that comes up. It's for, called firsts, and this is the first song that I listened to in 2018 and first artist that I discovered. So my first song that I listened to in 2000. 18 is uh, Would You Fight For My Love by Jack White. 
which is interesting. I, I'm a huge fan of Jack White. I love his uh, his work. That was off of his 2014 album, I believe, uh, called Lazaretto, which I still love. Still probably my favorite Jack White album. And then uh, the first artist I discovered was Water Parks, apparently. Um, there's Water Parks, picture of them right there. So that's kind of fun. Um, I'm not a huge fan of water parks. I kind of, I think I got into them because I saw some YouTuber review them. They're like a modern day pop punk band. Uh, I actually missed out on seeing them at Warp Tour because they they played the first set of the day and I was a little bit late arriving. Or else I would have been interested to see them. So that's uh, first. Okay, and then you hit the down arrow. And they always have these cool things like little games. So. This one says, uh, can you guess how many minutes you spent listening this year? And my options are 17,713, uh, a lot, as you can see, 27,692, or 23,875. I think I'm going to go for the middle here with the 23,000, and... I guess I didn't get it correct because it didn't tell me anything. So let's try 27,000. Yes. So I listened to more than I even thought myself. 27,692 minutes I spent on Spotify this year. Again, I told you guys I love music. Music is a big part of my life. For 8% of the time, you're using your voice device. I don't know what that is. Okay. Next up... Hit the down arrow. That's cool. So there was a little animation before this screen. But of course, if you know me, this will not be a surprise. Green Day was my favorite artist of 2018. And I spent 44 hours of, of my year apparently listening to Green Day. So that is really cool. I'll have to hit the thing to tweet at them. It's also really cool. Uh, they have a little link that says, I, I know you can't really see it that well, but it says say thanks, and that's a Twitter link. So uh, it allows you to tweet at them. I'll do that later. Next up. Okay, so this is my top five songs of 2018 and this is slightly confusing because some of the oh okay okay I get it <laughs> alright it took me a little bit of time to figure it out it has a top artists top five artists top five songs and then top five genres so uh, you can see a picture of the long shot uh, their new album love is for losers that's, of course, Billy Joe Armstrong's uh, side project. And as you're going to see in a minute, I was not a fan of that album at all. <laughs> wink, wink. That was uh, a little bit of sarcasm there. Um, top artists were Green Day, The Long Shot, Against Me, Jack White, and The Fratellis. So none of those are at all a surprise to me. I love all of those artists, and I have listened to them a lot. And as you can see, I have listened to the Long Shots new album a lot <laughs> this year. Number one song is Love is for Losers by the Long Shot. Number two song is The Last Time by the Long Shot. Still probably my favorite song off of their new album. Number three is, um, oh, this is actually different. This is Saturday Night by uh, Misfits. I love that song, Saturday Night by the Misfits. That's my favorite Misfits song. So I have actually listened to that song a lot this year. And I reckon that uh, that's why it uh, placed in the number three spot there. But then, getting back to the theme, Chasing a Ghost by The Long Shot. And then finally, Taxi Driver by The Long Shot. So four out of the five top songs I listened to on Spotify this year were by The Long Shots. <laughs> that is not a surprise to me, but, uh, well, it's slightly funny that uh, they managed to get the top five songs. Um, and then over here is top five genres at the very end. So you've got rock, indie, punk, pop, and hip-hop. So I do like to listen to a little bit of hip-hop every now and again. I'm not completely opposed to it as a genre. 
And yeah, my top song of the year is Love is for Losers by The Long Shot. Not surprising, it's definitely one of my favorite songs of the year, maybe my favorite. And also that album came out way back in April. So I've had a lot of time to listen to it. I listened to it a lot over the summer, like all the time. Uh, top 100. So they put your favorite songs from 2018 in the playlist. Um, and it becomes your top 100 playlists of 2018. So if you actually log into the Spotify app, you can play that playlist. So that's cool. Again, the long shots on the cover there. <clears throat> Another cool animation uh, for pop punk here. And there's a cover of one of the All-American Rejects albums. I saw them this year, so I listened to them quite a bit. I saw them in concert back in October. Uh, your favorite musical subgenre is pop punk, uh, definitely, no surprise there. There are only about 1,944,766 listeners who love this type of music as much as you do. So we're a uh, small, well, slightly small, but uh, dedicated group. Alright, uh, the oldest song that I listened to this year was uh, Sweet Little Angel by B.B. King, released in 1957. Interesting. I love B.B. King. I love the blues. We're almost done here. We're on page number eight. Okay. So, <laughs> real quick, I gotta go on a rant here. Astrology is one of the stupidest things that has ever occurred, or ever been a thing. Like, the idea that we can determine from the day that we are born in the year what kind of personality we have is just kind of dumb, in my opinion. That being said, apparently I listened to a lot of... Oh, we're Libras. Sorry if the uh, video kind of cut off there. My battery, or my storage is not great right now. Um... Apparently I listened to a lot of Libras from uh, Eminem and John Mayer. Okay, that's interesting. I don't put a whole lot of faith in astrology. I think it's kind of dumb. But anyway, Taste Breakers. So this is kind of interesting. Um, it says, start your 2019 by broadening your horizons. We've made a playlist of songs from genres and artists you don't normally explore, and we think you'll like it. So... Alright, so sorry if there was another pause in the video, the storage on my camera is like gone. So anyway, uh, what I was saying is I'm not quite sure why William Shatner is uh, on the cover of my uh, Taste Breakers uh, page, but okay. Interesting, and then we have one page left here, and that will be, let's see, another cool little graphic that I'm sorry that I didn't show you if I was smart enough to put that thing or had the equipment to put that thing up there, picture in picture than I would. Uh, this is just basically like a summary screen. So we have uh, share your 2018. So like social media platforms listed there. Um, yeah, share on billboard. And it has my top artists, Green Day, of course, picture of them there. My uh, 27,000 minutes listened to, my top genre, which is rock. And uh, yeah, top artists, top songs. So, uh, as you can tell, my main takeaway from this uh, little experiment is that I really loved uh, The Long Shot <laughs> and their most recent album, uh, their only album, actually, uh, The Love is for Losers, which is, of course, Billy Joe Armstrong from Green Day, his uh, latest side project. Um, kind of bummed that I didn't get to see them live. They didn't come in the Midwest at all. So, you know, hopefully, uh, I, I have heard... Some ramblings, especially from my friend, uh, the Vinyl Potato, uh, who on YouTube, um, that Foxboro Hot Tubs are rehearsing. Uh, that's the other Green Day, like, side project that actually has all the members of Green Day. And I'm kind of, uh, hoping that they will, uh, maybe come out with a new album, or at least tour. That would be really cool. Uh, I'm dying to see either Green Day or a Green Day side project in a small venue. I think that would be flat out awesome, so... Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, uh, leave me a like down below. Let me know if you have Spotify, if you've done this. Let me know like what your top uh, songs and, and artists and stuff were of this year. Uh, even if you don't have Spotify, let me know 
what artists you've gotten into this year, what artists you've listened to a lot. Green Day, while they're my top artist, uh, I've been a huge fan of them for like three or four years now. So it's not like I just got into them this year. In fact, most of my top artists I didn't like just get into this year. Um, the Fratellis may be the only one, but I, I think I was into the Fratellis before this year even. So, you know, interesting. But, uh, yeah, uh, any and all thoughts in the comments below, hit that like button again, hit that subscribe button to stay tuned for future content. I'm going to be doing the uh, top album and movie uh, videos coming up in the next few weeks, maybe within the next month. And uh, have an amazing holiday, uh, holiday season, and uh, see you guys later. Bye.